Oh my goodness, yes. You have a question? Yeah. Are we going to do old modulus? No, we're just looking at young modulus. Probably we can do modulus. Middle age modulus. Teenager no, modulus. We did young modulus last semester, so this time we can do it. Did we do it? Yeah. I don't remember doing that. Did we do it in chemistry? No. Yeah. I remember young modulus from chemistry. All right, great. Okay, um, so some vocabulary first. Uh, what does this word mean? Step formation. Losing formation. Yeah. Say again? Losing shape. Yeah, Losing basically. Deformation of material is the process of changing the shape. And for us, we only really care about changing the length. This is what we're discussing at the moment. Uh, by means of applying a stress and force. So I yes, please actually. Now what we might do, if there's time, we can have time to look at the homework questions too. If there's not, I'll just do it after the break because, well, do we have, do we have physics tomorrow? No, we don't. Or do we? No. No, we don't. This is the last lecture on this week. So can you give us the math assignment? Please do it, not from the... No, I can't because we haven't done enough to start it. Can you just like the topic so I can know what I'm supposed to... Start? Oh, sure, I can do that, yeah. but we haven't done enough in class. So if you want to research it yourself, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Tomorrow we just have math. Thursday there's no class. Friday's a math. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. The class is cancelled, right? The Friday. Was it? Yeah, she said yesterday in the class that we have a class in today's morning. Well, I don't know. I worry about that on Friday. No, I need to see you on Friday about your physics reports. I'm going to give you your. I'm going to give you feedback on the reports yeah. on Friday. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you won't like it. No, no, relax yourself now. You won't like it. Feedback? What, yeah. what we should do with it? Have you seen any? All will be revealed on Friday. Would you like to give us? Do it again or? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you giving the feedback? Do I, do I look like Santa Claus? Yeah, unless you really are. So why do you give the feedback? Huh? Why is your feedback? Don't you want to know how well you did? I mm -hmm. want to know, but I don't want to know how well was my downs or something. Because you don't want your view on it. But you have to do your maths report. I'm going to correct them. You're talking about physics, is it? Ah, uh, look, never mind. Um, on Friday, it's maths, but we may have some time for physics. Okay. Yes? Yes, I don't want to talk about it too much yet because I don't even have all the reports yet. Which reminds me, where is your report? You said you printed for me. Yeah. You have it in your bag? Yeah. Oh good, alright. You had me worried. Okay, next slide. Yeah. Um, you know you lost 10% by handling it late yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So when you were talking to Sylvia, you meant another 10%. Now don't look at me. No, no, I, mean, I knew because she yeah. said she said to me it's not going. They won't. He won't do that. I said he said to me he will do that. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah. So she she says more like. It's and it's funny. I was talking to Sylvia, and she said, "Yeah, Bahad was going to give it to me, and then he noticed some mistakes in the report." And I said, "Oh, he noticed some mistakes, did he? Is that what he said to you?" In the morning, I, I was there. Yeah. When I was printing. Monday. Was, Monday morning. Yeah. Yeah, you said to Sylvie, you know with some mistakes. Yeah, I heard you before my printing. <laughs> before you printed, oh, yeah. okay, alright, 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 yeah. Because it came like and then Sylvia months. asked you, <laughs> did you think it was worth doing again so you wouldn't lose the 10%? I don't know, I don't remember. And you said, no, it was totally not worth it. You know? No. And I said, really? Because I was very, very happy I was doing it. I'm only trying to annoy you. I'm only trying to annoy you. Relax. I, I got your. I got you. Gave it to me yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You left it on the table. Yeah, I gave it yeah. to Dennis. To Dennis. Yeah, he trusted him. You trusted him. Yeah. Good. Uh, right. Next now. 
Um, the stress uh, on a material measured in Fahad per teacher of stress. <laughs> Uh, so the stress on the material, or maybe it should be physics students per teacher for measurement of stress. Um, it's the force acting on the material per, I should say unit, not unit, per unit of cross-sectional area. Now does anybody know this word cross-sectional area? Yes. What, what is it? Oh, here, I'll show you here. So when I say cross-sectional area, I mean the area on the surface if there's a force going this way. So it's not this area, it's, it's the area area here area. where the force is. Mm -hmm. So cross-section means like slice. Anyways, anyways, um, it's the force per cross-sectional area. So as a formula, mm -hmm. stress is force divided by area. Of materials. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. I agree with you. It is a good thing. If you think it's good for you, it's better for me. Ah, no, this must be Yemi. Yemi, where have you been? Did you print it? Oh, where is it? Oh, it's in your bag. This is down there, yeah. All right, did you write this down? Now, this definition is wrong. I don't see the formula! Oh, sure. This is too tiny. Also, so this is. Yes, it's like a pressure, isn't it? So, therefore, what is the unit per hour then for stress? Mm, uh, Newton over meter. meter. Newton per meter squared. Yeah. Or, in other words, a Pascal. Write down what you have the stress is in. You stop daydreaming. What are you dreaming about anyway? Now I'm really concerned if you can't see that. Seriously, I'm not joking. No, if you can't see that, I really think you need to go to an eye doctor and get some glasses because you should be able to see that. No, it's very tiny. It's KJ. Not same as before. No, you're right. It is it's smaller than before, but it's not too small. Was it smaller than? You've taken eye tests, haven't you? Yes. And do you need glasses? I think you do, right? Probably. Probably. So, <coughs> why do you, why do you... Well, this is tiny. <laughs> you have to agree with me. No, no, I don't. I totally dis... You could not be more wrong. I totally disagree with you. That is not tiny font. That's quite easy to read font. Yeah, but... Now you're in the same boat as KJ. You probably <laughs> need glasses too. <laughs> so you can keep your opinion to yourself. Yeah. And the people well with I the glasses, you can probably see this okay. Yeah, your eyes are going to go on. No, I can read this. I can read this. Yeah. But I cannot read you know, the, the note. Yes. The, the board. What note? You know, what do you mean? The, 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 board. the footnote? No. Where? Which? In the screen. In the here, screen. down here. Yeah, I can, but I can guess it. But you but don't need to read this. This is just the date. I'm just saying. February 9th. You know, the yeah. By yeah. numbers, I can't read them. Like February 9th. Yeah. That's right. That's why I cannot read the title. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. I can read the title. Okay. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats on reading the large font. <laughs> All right. Next slide. You got this one? Yep. yep. Yeah. Right, so now the strain on the material is the proportional of length. Sorry, let's read the proportion of length chain. Uh, I have to type this quickly. The proportion of length change or extension x that has taken place during its deformation <coughs> from the original natural length l. So that's all fancy pants. What does that mean? Basically, strain is just the extension divided by the natural length. I prefer X, but E is fine. E is fine. X for the extension. Correct. It's unit free. You, you, you use uh, 
E in the last sentence. We have never used E for extension. You're thinking of your physics school back in wherever you came from. Uh, wherever you study physics, this is what you're thinking of. I never used E. No, no, no. In fact, I actually said I don't like to use E. I think you mean use X. No, I see you're getting confused now. <laughs> I use X. You probably use E. No. Because E is easy to use for anything. So we don't need Small E, maybe. Can I go on? Did you write this down, Kirsty? Yes. If I look at your book, I'll see the formula? Yes. No, you can't take it. You're not big on the word. Mm. Keep it simple. Do you know, write down at least, at least write down there's no unix, okay? Yeah, as I did, n over n constant. Why n? Oh, these are metrics, okay. Uh, Give us like slides like uh, nine. No. No. Because my slides aren't enough. You need to have what I write as well, which is why you get the video. You don't slide. Just the, 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 I mean, this thing. No. Don't want it. I give you the video. That's enough. This is more than enough. Last semester, you will give you will give me the printed copy. Ah, maybe. I said maybe. <laughs> And when I said maybe, I kind of knew the answer already. But I said maybe. So what you got to do? Uh, right, next. Just give us the part you get my Young's modulus. Now, I use the letter Y, <coughs> but I think most books use the letter E. You don't know yeah. why? Yeah, yeah, but I, no, no, what I'm saying, KJ, is I think some books use E, which I think is terrible, <laughs> because it will mix it up with energy. So I use capital Y, okay? So Young's modulus... And then NCUK uses... No, they don't. They just would say in the question, Young's modulus is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Young's modulus mm. is the ratio of stress to strain. So in other words, as a formula, it's stress over strain. You got this? Yeah? Um, yes. You tell me. Pascal. Clearly yeah. Pascal. We said it was unit free. This is free. There's no unit. Oh yeah. Okay, you got this? Yep. So Young's modulus is stress over strength. Okay. Tensile strength? Mm -hmm. Anyone know this word? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. No, no, do you know it now? I don't care if you knew it in the past, I only care if you know it now. The strength in wire or the strength? The strength in the tensile, is it? Yeah. <laughs> in the wire or strength. Uh, Something like that. Like force, like can cool without freezing. You know something? You have that completely wrong. <laughs> It's actually the force you need to break it. <laughs> yeah. So tensile strength is a measurement of the force required to pull something such as a rope, wire, or structural beam to a point where it breaks. So in other words, it's the breaking force. Can I take this? Is it important? Yeah, of course. If it's important, you can take it. You can go outside. Why can't go outside? No, 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 no. You can take it if you go outside if it's important. That's fine. Is it important? Yeah, he never calls me. Who is it? My brother. Okay, if you think it's important. Um, all right, did you write this down? You have it here. <laughs> all right, did you write this down? Yeah. Where did you write yeah, it down? Yeah,
What? Is he a Formula One producer? A what producer? Is he a Formula One? A Formula? Oh no, it's just a... Mm. Uh, yeah, a constant for the material. draw it for you. Uh, so I'll draw the graph for you now. Um, All good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, right, so I need to draw the graph for you. trying to get my pad on there now. Right, uh, so the graph now. So if you look at Young's modulus, you can see that I said it was stress over strain. Yeah? yeah. Uh, and stress is the force divided mm -hmm. by the area mm -hmm. over, and the strain is the extension divided by the natural length. So Young's modulus, you can write it as um, force over x uh, times L over A, if you want to write it like that. Anyways, I, I'm not too worried about this form right now, but we'll get back to that in a moment. If I was to draw a graph, let me just actually, let me write this, let me just write this as stress equals Young's modulus multiplied by strain. If I make a graph here, where I put strain here, and stress here, what shape will this graph be? Straight line. Straight line. And the slope of this line y. will be Young's modulus. Because this is like y equals mx. Now remember, um, uh, what is stress and strain? So stress is the force per area, yeah? And strain, that is the uh, extension divided by the natural length. But if you rewrite the formula, you can see that it's very similar to what we did last week, where you have force on one axis and extension on the other axis. So last week we did uh, force here, and then we did um, extension here. And we said, what happens when you increase the force? You increase the extension. And then at some point, what happens? It breaks. And it goes off like this. Yes? Same thing happens here. If you keep increasing the strain, if you keep making it longer, the stress will increase. The force will increase. And the same thing will happen. It will increase until a point where it breaks. Elastic. Yeah, so we, this is called the elastic limit. This part of the graph, again, it's still called the um, uh, elastic region. And this part here of the graph? Plastic. plastic region. In other words, I just want you to see that the stress-strain graph is very similar to the extension force graph of Hooke's law. And in fact, it's almost the same thing uh, if it wasn't for like if it wasn't for the area and the length would be the same thing. If the area was one unit and the length was one unit, then in fact Young's modulus and yeah, actually that's a good point. Do you remember the formula for uh, Hooke's law? It was kx. So what's f over x equal to? K. And if you look at Young's modulus, Young's modulus is also f over x, but it's multiplied by L over A. So my point I'm making, what I really want you to see is that K and Young's modulus is a very, they're very similar things. 
So if the K is um, really big for the material, then do you think your modulus will be really big or really small? What do you think? Yeah. Well, it should also be big. I think. Yeah. In fact, if the length was one meter and the area was one meter squared, not only would they be very big together, they'd be the same because this piece here would equal one. So, anyway, um, I just want you to be aware that the stress strain graph and the extension force graph, they look the same, they're nearly the same, and it's the same word for both. Okay? Right, so we'll go back here to my broken graph. So let me just fix, there was a typo where I said units. And also where I said uh, the strain on a material is the proportion of length change that has taken place during a deformation from the original natural length. Okay, and then my graph is uh, totally screwed up. What did you like to see more words? Word? Pfft, lame. Word? Can you think you can do all this nice maths in Word? Let us yeah. look at the stress strain graph and compare it to the force, uh, nope, extension. Extension force graph. How does the Young's modulus relate to the Hooke's constant K? So that's what we looked at. They're nearly the same. Okay. What's the green mean? No, it's in maths. Displays maths. Um, okay, so what we need to have a look at now is some values of uh, Young's modulus. Often this is given to you in the question, but sometimes you could be asked to find it. So, um, remember, if it's big, it means it's stiff, so it's a big K, it's hard to deform. Small values means it's easy to deform. Okay, so, um, for example, rubber. Now, you might say, that's not small, that's huge, 10 to the 9. Uh, it actually is small compared to what you're going to see. So, uh, and the unit is Pascal's, of course, for Young's modulus. So, rubber, write this down, because you'll need it for some of the questions. Yeah, if you're worried about your coolness, you could wear contact lenses. Yeah, laser. Laser? Yeah. Yeah, you need contact lenses like this thing. Yeah, but still, but your eyes get better. No, you're right, you don't make your eyes get better, but they stop your eyes getting worse. Because you're straining your eyes every time you do them, this. You know? But you're young, you don't think about the future, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. You're worried about your eyesight when you're 40, not right now. Like, uh, that's okay. That's okay, that's your choice. Your eyes are like six by six right now. Huh? Your eyes. Me? <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are what? Oh, six uh, your eyes are perfect right now. Six over At six. At this age. Oh, six over six? Is this I thought you measured um, I was 20. Oh, but I guess that's the American way I was 20. I you measured out 20. I don't know, I've taken eye tests before and I didn't need glasses because in Ireland you need to take an eye test before you can get a driving license. I did not this holiday I went for a medical test. He was taking like my eye test 
Yeah? I you failed? No. He spelled too wrong. He spelled too wrong? Yeah, he was in a spelling. He spelled too wrong? No, no, not too. Like two is two words. Spelled wrong? Yeah. Where? In the last like, step. During that. He was, he was showing a picture. Spelled this, say this number, this thing. Yeah. He like spelled too wrong. I spelled two words wrong. Ah! <laughs> what words? Oh, Car. No, they were signing something. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Probably something like yield, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a weird one. All right, rubber is quite small. Mm -hmm. uh, nylon is also quite small. Do you know this? It's a material, a fabric. Nylon. Fabric. Yeah. Nylon. Yeah, the rest is in my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For use in clothes, it's very stretchy. Mm. Next now is wood, and you can see now it's starting to get bigger. Wood more flexible than rubber and nylon. Oh, really? Really? Oh, really? Oh, sorry, no, no, I said the wrong word. Mm -hmm. Stiffer, less flexible. Oh, yeah. yeah. As we're moving up here, we're getting uh, examples which are less uh, stretchy. Are you magnifying? Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. Glass is much bigger. You can't really stretch glass, can you? Really? No, right. Um, copper now. Yes, you should be able to stretch the lot because it because it is tiny. Yeah, but just be careful. There's a difference between the tensile strength, how far you can stretch it until it breaks, and how stretchy it is, how easy it is to change its length. So copper, yes, it'll take a lot of force to snap it, but uh, you can see it's quite big, meaning that. Uh, if a um, building is made of copper, it shouldn't really change its length as the force is applied. Mm. Hence why it's used as a st for structure. But you use when you use like copper in wire. Yeah, yeah. You can understand. Why is, why is glass big? Glass is big because it's difficult to change its shape. Mm. In other words, the bigger this is, the more difficult the material is to deform. So the color can be formed. What's that? Copper. Oh, you can, yeah. Like if you hang a weight on the end of a copper wire, the wire yeah, will the stretch wire. a bit. Easy to change. You well, easy-ish. Not what very is, easy. What is glass? You know, yeah. you should. You, you need to melt it. Yeah, no, but this is solid glass. No, no I'm just asking. For to, for deformation for glass, you need to melt it. No, no. I'm just listening. Okay. For the heat energy required, it's kind of going to stay the same this summer. The heat energy? Yeah. It's nothing to do with heat energy. What do you mean? Pascal is just a required force, right? To deform it. No, 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 no. No, we're not. No. This is Young's modulus for the material. It's a lot like the K constant for the material. It's a measurement of how easy it is to change the shape of it. So, uh, what if you have, if you have this, is much bigger than this, it means that you would require more force for copper than glass to change its shape. And you require more force for glass than wood to change its shape. And rubber doesn't, much smaller compared to these. A little bit of force will extend it. When you say change shape, you mean length, length. Okay, length. Length is what we talk about. Continue. Yeah. Steel. It's not surprising that it's bigger, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, graphene? Did you see graphite? Yeah, graphite. You can see it's surprisingly big, isn't it? You wouldn't have guessed that. Oh. It's like five times yeah. more big. Why is it not big? Graphite. It looks like the rotation coil or something. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean. I guess this is like a piece of graphite. How often do you come across that, you know? Like a rod of it. Oh yeah, yeah, they use it Yeah, and it's also used, this is also used in um, um, space shuttles as like a yeah. structural support or something, isn't it? On the, the wings, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so this is big also. Uh, I didn't put these in order, then I jumped back down to brass. So brass is uh, something which is reasonably flexible. Uh, what is it? Brass is um, cop. It's an alloy. Copper and um, zinc. Used for welding. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got these values? Yeah. I don't know why I put brass at the end. I guess I just wanted one extra one. I shall move brass to be here. Right. Okay, uh, so these are some values for Young's modulus. Yeah? So these are all power nines. Yeah. So Young's modulus is usually a big value. You can say that the, the first one is 10 into 10, uh, 8. No, yeah, but I kept these as 10 power 9, so they're all easy to compare. Yeah. Continue? Yep. yep. Right, so let's have a look at a question here. So a boy hangs a 100, kilogra uh, 100 gram mass at the end of a copper wire which is attached to the ceiling. The wire is two millimeters thick. So what's happening here, I'll draw it for you. Um, you've got uh, a piece of copper, okay. and uh, the copper is two millimeters thick. And the boy hangs a 100 gram uh, weight at the end of it. So you can write the information down. Yeah? Ah, yeah, because I, I only got two questions to do with you, so you might as well write it all down. There's not much to write. Did you write it down? No, you didn't. The whole thing? Oh, I'm not going to write it. This is the last thing. I've written the thing yeah. over here. Will you? Okay. You got this? Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't question it. The little thing? Mine. I just need you to write the information down here. So, okay. So the first question is, what is the area? Yep. first thing is what is the area so let's have a look what shape is this wire do you think a no a circular wire, oh, yeah, wire. Yeah. Yeah. so if you look at the face uh, the face of it um this is two millimeters so what's the radius one, one millimeter which is zero point um zero zero one meter mm -hmm. so the area is quite small what's the formula for the area pi r squared three point one four times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared is the area. So that answers the first part. Part B, uh, I ask for the stress. What's the formula for stress? Force over area. Now, do we know the force acting on this wire? We do. It's the weight. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's equal to mg over a. Wait, so this side down. Huh? What? The force is acting this way. Oh, it's a spring or what? It's a weight hanging from a string. Oh, yeah. So 100 times. No, 0 0.100, yeah, times 9.81 over the area. What's wrong?
So the stress is a large tree, one, two, four, two, zero pascals. Yeah? Okay. Part C. What do I want next? Uh, what is the strain on the wire? So the strain is the uh, extension divided by the natural length. Now we should really use this formula because do we know the extension? No. Do, no. Do we know the natural length? No. No. So what we could use is this formula, Young's modulus equals stress over strain. Because do we know the stress? Mm -hmm. We do. And what material is this that I say? Copper, wasn't it? Yes. So we know the Young's modulus for copper. Yes. So we can work out the strain this way. So the strain is equal to the stress divided by Young's modulus. Yes. Uh, what did I say the value for copper was? 170 times 10 to the 9. 17. 17. 17 times 10 to the 9. Copper 117. Oh my goodness. 117. 117. Alright, okay, fine. 117. Now we're all happy. Okay, so let's calculate that. So the strain is 2.67 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, D. By how much has the wire extended? So now I want to know the extension. So what formula should I use? The X, yeah. Strain is equal Yeah. You can use this formula now because you know what the strain is. Uh, no, we don't know the natural length. I need to put that in the question. Uh, we'll just make it something stupid like one meter. Yeah, it is. Uh, so the L is one. Uh, no, that's stupid, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we'll make it at least something more interesting, 1.5. Uh, so we get the X equals 2.67 times 10 to the minus 6 L. So you get the extension, the natural length, like what the original, I put as 1.5, that's the uh, extension. Now we probably want to put that into something a bit more relatable. Uh, mm. So if you want, well, you know, it's the same thing as 5.34 micrometers, a small, small amount. Often the units you deal with here for extension is micro to milli. Okay, next. Yeah. That's, that's next question. Uh, last one is what is the constant K for the wire, the, the stiffness constant? Oops. So what formula could we use here to get that? Uh, Half say again? Sorry, say again? For what? Micro. Micro. Uh, okay. How can I get the K? What F form? F is yeah, you can use F equals KX now. Yeah. Uh, so we get K equals F over X, which is MG over X. Uh, now that we have the extension, we can work it out. So it's 0 0.1 times 9.81 over 5.34 times 10 to the minus 6. A big number or a small number? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A small number. A uh, big number. A very big number. As it should be, because the Young's modulus is big. So the K is 183,000... 708 newtons per meter. Yes. 
When you the can shipping, make huh? When the shipping is working, okay. Is the uh, weight equal the cost? No, only when that is balanced. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the weight equal the cost only when it's cost, like yes. not when it's shipped. Okay, have you got this? Yeah. Okay, so we'll have a look at the uh, next one. Right. Uh, next now. So, um, write the information down or draw the picture. Four metal beams, I should say beams. That doesn't matter. What? Four metal beams of two by two by two centimeter, centimeter, meter. Two, oh, right. Either, I want to see if you can understand the picture, are used to support a platform. The platform of mass 3,000 kilograms is suspended from the beams, like an upside down table. Yeah, but it's upside down. It's being hung from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. A thousand kilograms is placed on the platform. So uh, here, I'll draw it for you. What you have here is you have a platform um, and there are four metal beams holding the platform in place from the ceiling. Something like this. And then there's a mass placed on top of it. Picture drawn or something? Yeah, I don't know. So the first question is what is the strain on each beam? The strain. Um, yeah, so what's the strain? So what's the original length of the beam? Originally, what's the length of it? What's the uh, length of the beam originally? Yes, yeah, two, two meters. meters. Two meters. Then it supports a platform, um, and there's a thousand kilograms placed on it. The beam extends by two millimeters. So what's the extension? Two millimeters. So the strain is two millimeters divided by two meters. Yeah. Um, so what you got here, the strain is two millimeters divided by two meters, which is 0 0.002 divided by two, which is 0 0.001. Yes. Now the stress, what's the formula for stress? Force. The force divided by area. Yeah. Now in this case, what's the force? Uh, M the weight, isn't it? Yes. Mg. Yeah? Yeah. Divided by 4. Why? Or you can do the divide by 4 at the bottom. Because that is the total weight, but there's four beams, so each beam only has a quarter of the weight to hold. Mm -hmm. The beam is multiplied by four. Huh? It could do the area multiplied by four as well, if you prefer. It's the same as divide. I would do it that way. Uh, divided by four a, because there's four areas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. no, it's okay. <laughs> uh, now, th what's the area? Well, it's, it's I said it's a two by two centimeter. Yeah, two, by two, two meter by two centimeter. Two no, no, no. No, it's the yeah. volume. That's what I said. Two by two centimeter. Yeah. Yeah, KJ, you're so like the first, I mean, second time. <laughs> right, the mass, what's the mass? 3,000 plus 1,000. Otherwise known as? 4,000. 
<laughs> divided by 4 times 0 0.02 times 0 0.02. So I get here two four five two five zero 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 pascals. Or if you want, that's twenty four giga sorry, mega pascals. That's uh, two four or nine? Two four. Uh two four. Two five zero zero. Okay. okay. Now the next part is What's the Young's modulus? Well, wow, that's easy now. What's the formula for Young's modulus? Stress over strain. Yeah, stress over, over strain. Right. So in this case, mm -hmm. uh, it will be 24.5 times 10 to the 6, or you can write the whole number in if you want, divided by the uh, strain. So that's going to be a huge number. Um, Yeah, it's going to be 2.45 times 10 to the 10 pascals. Yeah. Is that realistic? It will be a very strong material. Maybe it's too too big, but it will be big. Uh, now the next part here is if you place another 1,000 kilograms on the platform. How much more will it extend by? If you base what? Another 1,000. Another 1,000, okay. So, um, you could work out the constant K if you want, or what I was thinking more is there. using this formula here. Yeah. So, Young's modulus is stress over strain. Which one has the length in it, the stress or the strain? Which one has the length? Yeah, the strain. So you can say strain is stress over Young's modulus. Now the Young's modulus we know it's 2.45 times 10 to the 10. And what's the formula for stress? Force over area. There's four areas and the force is the uh, weight, which is now bigger. So what's the uh, M now? Uh, the extension. 5, what is it? 5,000 5, G over 4 times 0 0.01 squared over 2.45 times 10 to the 10. 3.01? Huh? 3.01? Yeah. Wasn't it? Or was it 0 0.02? 0 0.02. Okay. Now, what's the formula for strain? You have another formula for strain. Extension uh, over the natural length. Yeah. Uh, let's calculate this number on the right, though. Ten power ten. So on the right, you have a rather small. 1.25 times 10 to the minus 3. Uh, what was the original length though? Two. two. So if you bring that up, it becomes a 2. You can get the x. The x will be 2.5 millimeters. What was the extension originally? Two millimeters. So the additional extension is half a millimeter. Yes. Well, it should be. You don't want to be standing on this platform and feel it drop two centimeters, <laughs> do you? No, you don't. So the additional extension is half a millimeter. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. This is not a platform you want to stand on. <laughs> Yes? Yes. Okay, uh, let me just clean something up before I give you the question. Assignment? Yes, I'll give it to you in one second. Just relax. What's that? Cold assignment is to be assigned. Assignment? Where did you get from? <laughs> <laughs>
What material have I not used? Let's have a look here at some questions. What are you looking at? Physics? You got your physics report with the cover sheet? Oh. oh my goodness. Have you got yours with your cover sheet? I'll get I'll get the homework here. Um, hang on. Hold on, I'm just reading through these things. Um, do you have your report, your physics report? Yeah, yeah. Do you have the cover sheet? No, you need to go and fill out the cover sheet from Sylvia's office and then give it to me in the teacher's room. Should I do? Should I, I can't get it there? Yeah, go, go now. Go get a head start. I want you to go do that and then by the time I get to the teacher's room, I can collect it off you. Always bring it Well, that's if you get done before I get there. Yeah, and do you have your cover sheet filled out? Yeah, so again, I'll see you at the teacher's room. You can give it to me, okay? All right. Put the light on, please, Yami. Wait, no. Don't break anything. <coughs> 